helping prevent learning loss during the summer months. It doesn't have to be a chore. It can be fun with summer activities and imagination. My co-anchor, Wally Aliu, is joining us live from the park's After Dark program at Silver Wing Park in Otay Mesa West. Wally, the event, of course, helping children to be engaged and active. But other ways that families can prevent this summer slide at home? It's a tough job for a parent during the summer months to make sure kids are staying active but also preventing the summer slide. As you mentioned, we are at Silver Wing. There's a lot of kids out here. They have food and games, and a lot of them are honestly just kind of clowning around. Uh, making. How you doing, Mr. Clown? They're making some bubbles here. He's going to show me how to make one of these bubbles. Let's see if I can get one of these. So you got to put, them, put it all the way in the bottom, and then thank you. Help me out there. All right. Then I'm going to lift it up and make a huge bubble. And give the oh, <laughs> give some of these kids. So okay, I'm not as good as he is as ma making the bubbles. But here's the thing. So they're having fun out here. But it's all oh, there's a good bubble. There we go. All right, there's a good bubble. So while the fun activity here you go, Mr. Clown. While the fun activities are important for these kids, there's also a lot of work that has to be done to make sure they not only stay out of trouble, but that they're ready for the upcoming school year. Just seeing books that you have available to you that you can pick up anytime, it trains their brain that reading is important. Reading is something that I should do, and it's something that I should do as a leisure activity. It can help kids process complex emotions, especially as we're talking about going back to school. So a lot of kids will be going into a new grade. They'll be going into a new school. And again, for military kids, that could be across another state or even you know around the world. Some parents may be concerned that their kids aren't ready for the next school year as we wind down the final days and weeks. Is there anything they, they could be doing right now just to give their students a leg up entering their next school year? Yes, um, absolutely. Reading to your children and reading with your children is one of the best ways that you can prepare them for this upcoming school year. Um, just reading, you know, six books over the summer. So I realize we're coming toward the end, but just really reading six books is enough to stem what they call uh, the summer slide. And that is the potential learning loss that would happen in between the end of one school year and the beginning of the next. And for these students who are just like, I don't wanna read, I wanna play video games, or hang out with my friends. What can parents do to encourage their kids to read? I would assume maybe having the kids see them reading is probably one way to help. Absolutely, so that's one of the things that